Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again, and um, I'll take you through a normal curve question and something that you might experience. This is on last year's common exam. Um, so what we have here is a question that says a mass of a bag of Toritos is known to be normally distributed. So if you see that normally distributed, you're thinking normal curve with a mean of 280 grams and a standard deviation of 2. So those are your uh, two important things there. So let's draw a normal curve. It actually asks, this question asks us to draw the normal curve. But sometimes it won't. It'll give us another question. But even if it doesn't, we're drawing this thing anyway because this this is like our our guide. So we put our mean right at the bottom of that thing, right here. And then we draw the sections. It's not going to have a lot of space here, and they should be even, of course, but I'm here using my pen tablet, so it's hard. Um, so these are my sections, and I'm going to fill in the percentages here. So um, actually, I'll fill in the numbers on the bottom first. So what this two uh, standard deviation of two grams means, it means that we basically add two to this side, and then we subtract two to this side. So this would be one standard deviation away, so that would mean I would add 282, 284, and 286. And then this way I'm going to subtract, so 278, 276, 274. So with that, I have my standard deviations taken care of. So I got one part of my curve done. Now I had to fill in my percentages. These first two sections here, those are 34% and 34%. So this is 68%. So one standard deviation away, this is what this refers to, that's 68%. Now, on either side of those is 13.5% and then 13.5%. So this whole section here, from 276 to 284, this here referred to as two standard deviations away because if you count it, I got one, two, one, two on each side, two standard deviations away. And then this section right here is 2.35, 2.35, and then here is 0 0.15 and 0 0.15. So this whole thing here adds to 100%. Okay, and this is what my normal curve looks like. I just got full marks for that normal curve. And now I have it says determine the percent um, with mass less than 278 grams. So here's 278 grams, everything less than this. So I'm looking at this whole section here. Okay, anything less than this. So I just add them up. So I got 13.5 plus 2.5. So that's going to be 13.5 percent plus 2.5 percent, and that's going to give me. 16%. So 16% of the uh, Dorito bags have a mass less than 278 grams. Okay? So uh, that's really what the, the question is asking us. Now I'm going to add a second part to that question. I'm going to say if there are 2,000 bags of chips, bags of Doritos, Okay, 2,000 bags of Doritos. How many have a mass less than 278 grams? So how many have a mass less than 278 grams? Well, I just figured out that's 16% of chips. So what I'm looking for is 16% of 2,000. Okay, so 16% of 2,000, well, that's just going to be 0 0.16 times 2,000. Break out your calculator. And you got you got zero point one six times two thousand. And that is equal to three hundred and twenty. So I have it's equal to three twenty. So three hundred and twenty bags are less than two hundred and seventy eight grams. So that's you know, that's that's another thing that commonly shows up is at, you have how many you got to figure out. So the one we did in class was with hair dryers, if you remember. So this is, uh, I just picked a random number. This is not part of the problem, but, um, you know, this is something that uh, you should expect it and you should know how to do. Okay, all right, guys, thank you very much. Any questions about that, check out my video on confidence interval. I'm going to do that now. I'm 95% confidence interval, so thank you very much.